Hi, everybody, and welcome to Baphomet's Lounge. Well, today is election day, so if you've already voted, congratulations. You've helped the de democratic process. By the time you see this video, it'll probably have been past election time or past the time to have voted. So if you hadn't voted, congratulations, you're a douchebag. All right, continuing on with my series uh, that I started before, uh, One and Done, I'd like to talk about a band that only put out one album, technically, called Archangels. It was a pseudo supergroup at the time. Uh, consisting of uh, Doyle Bromhall II, Charlie Sexton, uh, and then the members of Double Trouble, Stevie Ray Vaughan's Double Trouble, uh, Chris Layton and Tommy Shannon um, on drums and bass, uh, respectively. And, um, <clears throat> wow. Their first album, or only album, technically, uh the self-titled Archangels, produced by Little Steven, is a masterpiece. Texas blues type of stuff. Two lead singers, two sensational lead singers. They came out, Living, a, Living in a Dream was the first single, you know, with great harmonies, um, singing together on the stuff. Um, just first song, first video, boom, came out. Just kicking on all cylinders. Second album, Paradise, second song, Paradise Cafe. Uh, and then they started to rotate. You know, they would sing harmonies together, but that was the first song where they actually each took a verse and then would do harmonies. And then the rest of the album was each, uh, you know, each one of the singers sang. Sent by Angels, great. Doyle Bromhall, lead vocals on that. Sweet Nadine, fucking love that song. Charlie Sexton tune, Good Time. Bluesy, slow bluesy. See What Tomorrow Brings. Always Believed in You, um, The Famous Jane, that's a dope song, Spanish Moon, heavy, Bramall singing, Carry Me On, uh, Shape I'm In, and then ending with the nice, long, groovy, Too Many Ways to Fall. Again, another perfect album ending track. And back in the days when albums were the way to go. Um... When they when or when they wrote things for albums, just an absolutely stellar, 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 stellar album. Amazing. Got some hype, got some interest, and then they didn't talk to each other. Bromall really got into heroin. Doyle Bromall, and it was pretty much after like three years they fell apart. And all they had living was that legacy. Uh, Sexton continued on. Um, he continued on with his own projects um, and worked uh, his own band. I think he worked with um, Bob Dylan and just, you know, he kept on. Doyle Bromel, again, you know, dealt with his, his um, uh, drug issues. Um, he was very, very tight because uh, his with uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan because his father, Doyle Bromall Sr., played drums for Lightning Hopkins and Freddie King and then was lifelong collaborator with his childhood friends, Stevie Ray and Jimmy Vaughan. So many people associated Doyle as almost like uh, Stevie Ray's heir apparent, and unfortunately the drugs got to him. But he was able to make a comeback. Um, the first time I remember seeing him was in the late 90s when he played with uh, Roger Waters. He toured on Roger Waters' first big tour, um, comeback tour, and he was a part of Roger's band. And, you know, he, he sort of made, made a resurgence. Uh, then later on in 2009, an album and DVD showed up called Living in a Dream. And it was basically a live disc uh, of the band reuniting to play. And uh, then this, too, had a bunch of um, either uh, just new stuff they'd written and maybe hadn't worked through or what have you. But uh, that was essentially the second Archangels album. But as far as I'm concerned, the project is a one-and-done band. Um, and I can't recommend highly enough um, that that album and if you could find it check it out it's uh just really great blues um blues modern ish blues um kind of what the stevie ray vaughn stuff is 
funk, it's Texas funk, you know, Texas blues, um, but with two stellar voices, two stellar guitar players, and two some of a stellar rhythm section. Um, Archangels, a pity they never made anything else, um, but you know what? That's the way it goes. So, until next time, my dear friends, um, I'll start try to get back on track on getting these videos out, but like I say, it's 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 been a little bit of a challenge as of late, but uh, I'm going to try to keep going on this stuff. So thank you so much for your support. If you like what you hear and you want to continue receiving information, there is a subscribe button below if you're watching this on YouTube, so you can subscribe and get notifications. If you're watching this on Instagram, you can like or follow Bath Mitts Lounge, and if you're watching this on Facebook, uh, feel free to like, comment, uh, share, and uh, follow if you so choose. Okay, folks, until the next time, peace.